Greetings, Bernal community. While I've missed you over the past week, I have benefited greatly from and learned a great deal from listening, mostly to our students and to our recent alumni, but from many members of our faculty, staff, and friends of the university about their feelings about racial injustice and their commitment to join in the effort at Bernal to ensure that we are number one, following our Bernal ideal, loving deeply, fearing nothing, hating never, and moving to make sure that we are the most diverse, equitable, and inclusive campus we can possibly be. There's gonna be more on that in the coming week when I announce some initiatives, both short-term and longer-term on that front, inspired by our students and our recent alumni. The most important voices that I need to hear because my commitment is to making sure our students graduate and make this world more extraordinary, more equitable, more diverse, more inclusive. Secondly, please know that our COVID task force and leadership team have reviewed closely the excellent scenario planning recommendations made by the committee headed by Dr. Eck. We will be sharing preliminary plans next week. Please know that in the preliminary plan, we state very clearly that we have to be flexible. We have to change depending on the changes in the environment and we will be closely looking at all of that. But know that we will be ready to pivot and do whatever we need to put safety first as we continue to provide excellent education, excellent support, and excellent engaged semester. I wish you a good week. Please know my heart continues to be with all of you. Please know that I think every day about how our Bernal alumni are beacons of hope beacons of light, beacons of reflection, and beacons of action to make this world a better place and to make sure it's a place where racial injustice is not to be tolerated and where we care about each other's health, welfare, and our futures. So thank you very much, and I'll hope to see you soon.